It's a Friday morning. It is the holiday edition of uh, the AM show. And of course, it's time to bring you sports. My name is Benedict Tawusu. Thanks so much uh, for making time uh, with us here this morning. Of course, we're going to our stories this morning. Chairman of the new Ghana Premier League Committee, Elipora MND Jaula, he says referees in the country have been trained to deliver in the upcoming Premier League season. Now, bad officiating in the league has become a major problem over the years. Alaji Jawola, who has a one-year mandate with his committee members to look at the running of the league, says measures have been put in place to ensure we get good officiating this season. I know there are many training proposals. We are starting the league. There are so many things that will be a bit different. Uh, I, I know they intend to have so many courses for the referees. They'll be told about the referees and the numbers and they will, they will train properly. They know that they have to sit up. They know that everybody is talking about the performance and they have to sit up. And well, away from that, Accra Great Olympics are keen on using social media to attract a lot of followers uh, for the club going into the new season. Well, this according to uh, club secretary Ebenezer Alavano. I know there are many training proposals. We are starting the league. There are so many things that will be a bit different. Uh, I, I know they intend to have so many courses for the referees. They'll be told about the referees and the numbers, and they will, they will train properly. They know that they have to sit up. They know that everybody is talking about the performance. Apologies, later I'll bring you that uh, interview with Ebenezer Alavano, who is a secretary of Accra Great Olympics, and he says they are uh, going to use social media to attract a lot of followers going into the start of the new Ghana Premier League season. Of course, we have to do some more. Remember, tomorrow is the big one, uh, the boxing bar, the heavyweight boxing bar that Roland Walker has been talking about, Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. We'll see how that will go, but I'll definitely will tell you more if uh, there is time. We'll do some analysis on that. Myself and Roland will do that. But we have to look at what, what happened yesterday in the English Premier League. Arsenal, hey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, not a good time to be an Arsenal fan. And uh, Freddie Lundberg lost his first home game uh, since taking charge from Una and Mary on an interim basis. It was 2-1. They lost to Brighton. All right, so that's Arsenal's uh, interim boss, uh, Freddie Lundberg. It's not been that good since he took over from uh, Una and Mary uh, at Arsenal. Yesterday losing uh, to Brighton by two goals to one. Well, he shared his thoughts. After the game. Now, this morning, we'll tell you a brief story about how our inability to win penalties is affecting even the president, His Excellency Nana Dedankwa Ekufado, and then Sports Minister Isaac Isiyama. My colleague Uwe Kwampofo has the rest of the story. Asamwa Gian has the opportunity to send Ghana into the semi finals of the World Cup. And he hits the bar. Well, some things just never go away. And it looks as if Ghana's penalty syndrome might just be one of those things. As it stretches even beyond just the players, even His Excellency Nana Ekufuado seems to have been also affected by the syndrome. My only regret tonight is that I was unable to put the penalty past uh, Boniface. <laughs> That's the only thing that upsets me. He saved my penalty. But we'll try it again. Yeah, next time. The next time. Still on the subject of penalties, the Minister for Youth and Sports, Honorable Isaac Isiyama, has had a say on Ghana's poor penalty display at the under-23 Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt, which took place last month. Penalty carried that for ourselves. Can you do that? Then you break the whole nation out of our hearts. I broke it. Eh? Eh? And the minister now becomes the victim. In Egypt, as if I did the penalty. Yes, I got those. So, how? Because me and you need to provide the direction and the mission for football. So, I accept it. <laughs> Have you noticed that due to the heavy salaries of footballers, other professionals are getting attracted to the sport? Well, you aren't the only one who has noticed because Honorable Isaac Isiyama also believes that's the case. And let me tell you, one of the days that people will say, don't play football. Today, today, if professors wish they were the Maradona's, the Messi's, and go. Cool. Even professors wish they were. Am I like professor? Yes. Yes, wish. So that should tell you that. When you invest in football, you will get the dividend. 
Recently, there have been so many issues concerning unpaid bonuses when it comes to the national teams. However, Honorable Isaac Isiama strongly believes delaying bonuses shouldn't really be an issue. We feed them three square meters a day, every time, and we give them, pay them every day. This is we give you food, three square meters a day, accommodation that we paid for, and we give you pay them. Do they lack there? Do they lack? For us, our minister, but the people are there, and they are complaining they don't have money to eat. To eat. So who told you? Please, Daniels, whenever we send a team out, out there, we will pay for the accommodation, they are seeding, and build them, pay them. We don't owe anybody to pay them. That's a fact. The bonus is something to also motivate them, which we agree. So the pressure should be created as if one we have not paid any bonus, therefore they are starved of anything. They are not starved. They are compensated. They are fed. Give them some money every day, every day, every day. One hundred dollars a day, one hundred dollars a day, depending on the country. Today is Farmer's Day. I'm pretty confident you know that by now. Interestingly, there is a meeting point between farming and Ghana football. Wondering how? Well, let's take you back to when a journalist alleged that one of the pitches supposed to be used for the Ghana Premier League has been transformed into a farm. All right, so that's our end sports uh, on that uh, quirky sports note. My name is Benedict Tews. Remember uh, to join us uh, later. There will be more in terms of uh, content for you uh, throughout the day. It's a holiday, so please enjoy your holiday and stay safe. Thanks so much for coming.